Day two, welcome to day two. Today we start painting, and we start painting with beginner shades. These are our sheer metallic and glitter polishes. Super forgiving, ideal for beginners. We all start with these shades. If you start with an advanced shade and you don't know how to paint, you basically flood your cuticles and you get really frustrated and you're like, I don't wanna do this. We're not gonna do that. That's why we have this boot camp box so that you can learn day by day how to have perfect salon mani at home. Okay, so let's have fun. Let's start with our Poppy, our patented universal polish bottle handle. It makes it so much easier to paint with your non-dominant hand so that one of my hands doesn't look like my seven-year-old painted it. It's rubber silicone. It has a super comfy grip. It's ergonomic. It's weighted to help reduce shake. So it really gives you that neater, more precise application. By the way, it's universal. It fits on the top of any polish bottle in your collection. And as you're looking at your box, just so you know, there are six colors in your box. And they start with your beginner shades, they go to your intermediate shades, and your advanced shades. You're gonna to wanna to start with your polish on this side. This is your beginner shade, and it's perfect for day two. Let me show you how to put your poppy on. Our new bottles have the poppy little indicator, so all you do is you slide it on, line up the flat side with the flat side, and then you'll be ready to paint. Our older bottles, you line up the flat side with the flat side of your brush, and you're ready to go. Let's talk about our brush. It can be really daunting to paint your own nails, I know, I did it. And so we made our brush flat and wide so that it makes it so easy to cover your nail in just two to three strokes. So when you start painting, put your brush in the middle of your nail, push towards your cuticle, and then pull through your nail. You do not want to flood your cuticles. That is a tell that you did it yourself. You also want to paint in super thin coats. The thinner and streakier, the better. I know it doesn't sound right, but it is. If you have opaque coverage in just one coat, that means it was too thick. I used to do that all of the time. And then after you paint that first coat, let it dry for five to 10 minutes. When you start your second coat, you're not going to have to start at the center, right? Because you've built your foundation. You're going to start right in the outline of where that polish is and just paint that second coat. Our top coat is formulated to work with our polish. It creates adhesion between the polish and the top coat and it's shiny just like glass or gel. So do a thin coat of top coat after you've waited five or 10 minutes to paint that second coat. And by the way, congrats, you're all done with day two.